This is a review of the Radisson Blue Aqua in Chicago. We just got here. It is a pretty cool hotel. I've just been informed I only have a few seconds to make the bathroom pour this. It's a big shower, like wow, wowza. Pretty excited to take a shower. It's got a sliding door here, which it shares with the commode. And the commode has two flush modes. So that's, you know, like a full flush. And then this is conserved. Um, they have all kinds of hair, skin, and just other toiletry products. Mirror, make a mirror. A couple of outlets. So very nice bathroom. And... Let's come over here in the entryway you have a rod but nothing to hang your coat really on there is a knob over here by the entry now the camera makes it look a lot brighter than it is to my eye it does look dark um, so small closet here good space hangers yeah, there we go. Now we have hangers. Okay, hair dryer, not like Moab. Yeah, not like Moab. Um, in room safe, drawers. Okay, going on to the next thing here, there is an espresso machine. kinds of yummy stuff in there a couple of more drawers an in-room fridge okay king-size bed and we also have lights we have power which is nice some overhead lighting for the bed I laid on the bed for a moment and We'll see how it goes, but so far that feels very comfortable. They have complimentary Wi-Fi. A desk here with multiple drawers. Okay, just some utility stuff there. Um, what else? A chair. Light switches over there. There are your controls for the environmentals. Let's turn it up just a little bit. The room is very quiet though. And the view is pretty amazing. That's Lake Michigan over there. I don't know any of these buildings, but Gwen's calling that the turtle building. Mm -hmm. So. And the beam, did you point that out? Not yet, it's getting over there. And then it's kind of pretty, there's a park over here. Didn't really notice oh. that, but that's pretty. Yeah. And over here, I'm guessing, I think it's like right there, is the bean. So that's probably the next place that we're going to head. Sam at the front desk was very accommodating and very pleasant and nice. Mm -hmm. And this is a great view. But anyway, yeah, so far, this is looking like it's going to be a good room. We had two separate reservations. One was for the Genesis concert. And that was on that's on Monday night and then we had a separate one for tonight and tomorrow night and he worked with us and got us into this room which is the 18th floor and is apparently the highest room in the hotel don't know if you can really make it out but yeah if you look straight across you see a reflection it's almost dead center here right I think that's kind of us right there I me mean, if I zoomed in maybe you'd see my camera I'm just kidding but look at the reflection of this building so I'm wondering if those are if that's office space or if that's condos or what but very quiet so hopefully this is a good stay we're pretty excited yeah I'm ready to go rock out all right let's go find some of this Chicago pizza yeah we move all naughty so we come quick final review of the Radisson Blue in Chicago um love this tile the glitter, ooh, that's so pretty. 
The toiletries um, smelled very nice. Decent shower, blah, blah, blah. The bed was okay. I would say it was average. Uh, I would want a better head bed if I was going to say anything about the room. And then, um, of course, Chicago, the day we're leaving, that's when the weather starts to warm up and turn around a little bit. But other than that, it was a decent room. And uh, no reservations about saying stay here. Very quiet. Love that. Super, super, super quiet. Only heard people, and it was drunk people after last call. Uh, the first night we were staying here, we called the front desk, and they took care of the problem immediately. So that was very good. Thank you for watching.